Hello everybody. My name is Thomas Solomon and I am an aspiring motivational speaker. Um I just wanted to say that out of my twenty-three years of living on this earth I've seen that there are so many ways to make an impact on the world. So many people have made an impact on the world from as little as people who are volunteers to musicians, to actors, and everything in between. You want to know the many musicians, actors, volunteers, and all of them have in common with one another, they started out with a dream. I know everybody has a dream. And if you put the time and the effort and the work it takes, anyone can make their dream come true. It's like Denzel Washington said, dreams without goals are just dreams. What does that mean to me? To me, it means that if you want to do something, you might say that, oh yeah, I want to be an astronaut, or oh yeah, I want to be a police officer, or I want to be a firefighter, but you're not going to head anywhere if you don't actually put time and the effort in to make that happen. You got to make goals. You got to set goals. And you might say that, oh yeah, well, one goal is that I want to be a firefighter. Yes, that is a goal, but that is the end goal. You gotta think, what am I gonna do to get to that point? You gotta start small, and then you gotta work your way up. You never know what you could be until you try. Like, you could be the, the next best musician, or a scientist that makes the next breakthrough. You could be the one to discover the cure for cancer. And, like, you can, you can do that if you want. Start small, start studying, start learning, like, okay, what do I have to do to get to this point? Who can I contact to help me out with this? If you do all that, and someday you can make a day. And you will never know until you try. You will never know if something, or if something is right for you until you try. You could honestly, honestly, you could be someone who wins an award, or you could sh shake the president's hand. And I know you might be thinking I'm full of it. Or you might call me crazy. But I believe anybody can do anything that they want. You just gotta go for it. And don't let anyone tell you that you can't do something. Because the only one who knows what they can and cannot do is you. You just gotta go for it. You wanna know what I do whenever somebody says I can't do something? I do anything and everything I can to prove them wrong because I want to see their faces, the shock on their faces, whenever I make it big. My whole life, everybody has been telling me that I'm going to amount to nothing. And I know everybody who's watching this right now, I do wonder, hey, why should we listen to him? Well, 
Let me share. Let me share a little story with you. Wasn't my life the odds have been against me? I've dealt with bullying. I've dealt with suicide. I've fought with depression, and I cannot count the many, many, many times I wanted to give up and stop trying. I used to want to end everything. I remember thinking, I used to think in my mind that I was a worthless piece of trash that would not make it nowhere. I would say that I was, I would tell myself that I was a mistake because everyone else would tell me I was a mistake. But I know that is not true. The more and more I thought about it, and the more and more that I talked to actually my best friend, I started to realize more and more, I've, I'm put on this planet for a reason. Everybody is. I want everybody to know that they can do anything, whether anyone else says that they can or not. And I know I keep repeating that, but that is so true, it's not even funny. Um, I mean, my dad and my older brother always had my back and believed in me. And... Without, I can honestly say this, without my older brother, I would not be with I am today. I would not be alive, because I have struggled with depression, and I've had suicidal thoughts. And honestly, last year, in January of 2019, I tried to take my own life. Because I thought that that was the only way that things were going to get back. And I spent a week in a mental hospital because of it. But when I was in that mental hospital, there was a guy that I met there by the name of Matt. And he kind of made me realize that things are not as bad as I thought that they were. And he's the one that made me realize that I'm just like, he's the one who honestly helped me realize what I want to do in my life. And what I want to do is be a motivational speaker and help people because that's honestly, I love helping people. I love seeing the, the smiles on their faces. I love hearing the great comments and remarks and everything that I get for helping people. And I like seeing how much it helps cheer them up. I, I mean, I will go out and I will give random stranger compliments because I like making their day better. Because you never know if someone's day is going to be bad or not. And the reason for all of this, the reason that I love helping people so much is because of my grandmother. Back in 2009, I lost my grandmother, and she was one of the people who made the greatest impact on my life. She was one of the sweetest people you've ever met. Um, she would always tell me that my smile could brighten the world. She told me that I have a heart of superior gold, and she would always teach me to do the best and she would teach me to do my best 
and she would tell me to never give up. My grandmother, or my grandfather, would also tell me I would. He's the one who told me, both of them are the people who told me that I would make it big someday. My grandmother and grandfather were the people who told me to never give up and stop and don't stop trying because one day my dream will be true. And that's what I'm doing right now. I want to be a famous motivational speaker. Because that would be mean the world to me. I just, I want to help people. And I'm not doing it for the money. I'm not doing it for the, for the fame. I'm doing it because I want to send a message to everybody and help everybody see that no matter what happens, things can get better. Um, <clears throat> like I said, when I was born, and one of my first breaths I took, I popped a hole the size of a quarter in my lung. Then later throughout the day, my other lung popped, and I was actually dead. I was legally dead. But whenever I was dead, everybody wanted to give up on me. Even my own birth mother wanted to give up on me. My own birth mother didn't want anything to do with me. She, she said that I was going to be a complete retard. And I don't like using that word. But that's what she said that I was going to be. And honestly, nobody has a part. But... The one person who always had my back, and who always stuck by me, even whenever I was on my deathbed, right after I was just first born, I, my dad prayed for me. He never left my side. He prayed for me. He stayed with me day and night. And eventually, I was brought back to life. I honestly, I should not be standing. Or I should not be sitting here. I should not be able to walk. I should not be able to talk. I shouldn't even be able to breathe. But yet here I am. I have my dad to thank for that. He was the one who taught me to walk. He never gave up on me. And when I was in the hospital, barely a bright, barely alive, he never gave up on me. So I give it to the people. I mean, every time I was feeling bad because someone in school or something, my dad would always tell me to not let them get to me because I had my own higher purpose in life. And now thanks to him, here I am today. Stand, sitting here in front of you. I mean, just don't let anyone tell you that you're worthless because you're not. Don't let anybody tell you that you will never get anywhere in life. Because they are wrong. I'm living proof of that. You can do anything you want, and if you want something, you will you will get it someday. That want, that desire, the burning feeling, that itch of you wanting to 
do something. As God will have letting you know, you will make it someday. As long as you prove that you want something as bad as you think you do, if you put in the time and the effort it takes and keep God in your heart, you will make it. And I know this is how a lot of people are probably going to click off. Because a lot of people don't really care about God. But for me, God is a big part in my life. Because without Him, I would not be here today. Um, for as long as I can remember, I've always wanted to help people. Like, I love helping people. I love doing this anything I can to help anyone and everyone. I love doing volunteer work. Because I love seeing how people smile. I love seeing the smile on people's faces. It, warm, it, it warms my heart. And just knowing that I did good makes me happy. <laughs> I love every second of helping people. I also want to say, whenever I was born, I was born without the pins in my ankles. And growing up, whenever I was younger, I used to have to hop around on four like a bunny. Because I couldn't walk at all. And then I went from not being able to walk at all to using a walker to being able to walk on my own two feet with no help at all. When I was in school, I used to be made fun of and bullied for using a walker, and also because of my ataxia. Ataxia causes your body to shake and jerk a lot, and because of this I had to have special help, and because of this a disability, everybody would always make fun of me, and I have been called every name in the book. I would get pushed around, and everybody would try and beat me up, and I'm not gonna lie, it sucked. Yeah, I would go home and cry for hours and hours at a time, and I would also always wonder, why me, why do I have to go through this? But looking back now, I realize I went through all of this for a reason. I think... God put me through this so that I could look back and see how strong it made me. And also so that I could be a symbol of hope for everyone going through a hard time. I just want everybody to know if I can make it through all that hell and still be here today, so can everyone else. I want people to see me and say, if he can do it, so can I. If anyone can do anything, you can be anything you want, and I'm living through for that. Thank you. If you enjoy this, um, let me know what you think. And possibly just share it with someone who needs help. Like, subscribe, and comment for more if you want to see more, if you want more motivational speeches, let me know. I'd be happy. If you have any comments, or any questions, leave them down below in the comments, and I will answer them. And I will do my best to help anyone who asks for it.